Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to a drink with crazy and this is the 500 subscriber video Oh, no, it went out. It went out. No, I have to show you. I have to show you before it goes away before it goes away and there it is 500 subscribers get some you guys are awesome and I am so happy to be here right now. And before we get into the topic, let's introduce tonight's beer. This is Founders Dirty Bastard Scotch Style Ale. Now, this I decided to do for you guys. This nice slow pour. Look at that beautiful color. Oh my goodness. And one of the reasons that I love about micro brews and just fancier beers in general oh there we go is that there's so much more passion from small companies building their own beers and I don't know if founders is super small and I've had their stuff before but to all of the 500 subscribers out there cheers to all of you oh oh and that is a, oh and that's a wonderful ale let's do that again And without any further ado, let's get into today's topic, which is apparently a DC website, DC Comics website, dropped the designation comics out of their name. And there's a lot of speculation as to wondering if they're going to stop publishing. Now, I want to attack this in a little bit of a different way, but let's jump over to bounding into comics real quick so I can show you guys at least where the source is kind of uh, coming from. All right, DC website drops comics designation from its branding in a sign that suggests the company could be moving away from publishing. DC's website is known simply as DC.com instead of the original DCComics.com, quietly and officially dropping comics designation from their branding. Now, there is a lot of speculation here. But I wanted to show you this, so if you guys want to go over to Bounding Into Comics to find out what more is going on, you guys can go over to Bounding Into Comics and do that. But the reason that I wanted to attack this is because I do try to come at things in a different angle. And I was sitting here thinking about it. And everybody's like, yeah, DC sucks. They're doing woke stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but this is kind of sad, right? Like, for those of us who grew up with these amazing characters and this legacy that has been built up over the course of, you know, oh my god, almost a hundred years. I mean, the first appearance of Superman was in Action Comics number one, right? That was 19... was it 34? Don't quote me on that. If you know what year Action Comics number one with Superman appeared let me know i think it was 1934 i know it was in the great depression and i know there was good reason behind it but i look at this and i think man it's this is the fall of a titan you know i think back to the let's ironically enough that famous line from the dark knight you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain and at this point in pop culture history DC has lived long enough to see themselves become a villain. And they are no longer considering, well, at least based off of what people are speculating, publishing. They're dropping the DC. I mean, it was Detective Comics. Now, they rebranded and they called themselves, you know, DC Comics, but it was Detective Comics. These fantastic characters that we, the Justice League of America, you know, then rebranded to just the Justice League. You know, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, the Green Lantern, the Flash, all of these fantastic heroes, Lex Luthor and Vandal Savage, my personal favorite DC villain, the Joker, all of these wonderful characters that we have had for decades upon decades upon decades. And all of a sudden, it seems like this company is going, you know what? We screwed up enough that it's time to stop. No more. And I just want to take a moment 
to reflect on some of the amazing stories that were told. Some of the most fantastic elements of our childhood. From DC Comics, I got to grow up with Batman the Animated Series, Justice League the Animated Series, and Justice League Unlimited the Animated Series, which are probably two of my... If I had to rank cartoons and animated series, they would definitely... They might be in the top ten. You know, things like DC Adopted, the Dakotaverse with Static Shock and Batman Beyond, and those are definitely in the top ten. I think Batman Beyond is 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 utterly fantastic and woefully dismissed as, you know, uh, 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 a passing of the mantle. But I think that that was such a great story to tell. Oh my god, we had the Darkest Night storyline, which is in my top two comic book storylines that I have ever heard and listened to in audio form. I think that Darkest Night and the deepening of the mythos of the Green Lanterns and just the Lantern Corps in general, all of them, you know, uh, my favorite, Larflees, gotta love Larflees. I love the Orange Lantern. He's just, he's just fun. He's like a little, he's like a comic, he, he's like the DC Orange Lantern version of Gollum, and I love it. But my goodness, we're witnessing right now the fall of a titan. And we've been witnessing for a long time. But instead of coming out and being like, yeah, they get what they deserve because woke stuff and blah. No, no, no. Let's take a moment like we would do with the death of a family member or the death of a good friend. And remember those awesome times, those fantastic stories. I have so many DC animated movies upstairs. Not as many as I would like. But Flashpoint. I know that's a little newer. The death of Superman. My God, the death of Superman. Ugh. And I was too young to remember when the news came out and said Superman has died. But that's how impactful it was. Mainstream media, news outlets said Superman has died. Now, they totally screwed the pooch on that storyline. And I think by bringing Superman back, they completely screwed up every comic book after there because de the, the, the permanence of death should always be a thing and whenever you go against that. But think about it. And for those of you who are watching, you guys would remember this. I mean, I think it was in 1990, was it 94? I think it was like three when they did that. The Death of Superman. I have had the animated movie. I've, I've, seen, uh, I, I've seen the story arcs, you know, read out in, in the, uh, on YouTube. Again, I don't read a lot of comics, but I love these characters, and I think they are amazingly fantastic. You know, things like the anti-life equation. Mm. To strip the will of others away. Oh, my God. Things like that. That just make me think, wow. What a great run. To start off with just one character, which wasn't even supposed to turn into this. But they did. Truth, justice, and the American way. A man who could leap a building in a single bound. A tall building in a single bound. Ugh. The amazing stories that we have gotten from DC over the years and what they have done lately. Obviously, we can say, no, you shouldn't have done this. We wanted more from you. But can we not take a moment Instead of going, I hate your new stuff, I'm just going to read your old stuff and be angry about it. But can we take a moment to just be happy that these this titan of a company lived long enough and went through so many time periods and so many generations of people and influenced so many people. Can we not just be glad that we live in a world where that happened? I know that a lot of people love the rage bait. A lot of people want to see people go, yeah, you get what you deserve. I can't do that. I don't like, I like being as positive as I can. And I will only cover negative things when they genuinely, when they genuinely stir something up inside of me. And I'm like, I need to talk about this. That's when I'll talk about negative things. That's the rip reverse and the PayPal stuff. I will absolutely cover a negative thing here or there. But what are some of your favorite DC storylines. I mean, we can all pinpoint things like the killing joke. Um, 
Oh, excuse me. Ah, my sinuses today. They are not good. Hey, more beer. We all point to things like, you know, the killing joke, which is up here on the wall, which is one of the best stories ever. What about that iconic moment in Batman the Animated Series where they took Mr. Freeze from just being the cold villain and giving him this impactful, emotional story? I think it won an Emmy or an Oscar. We lived through that. We got to see that. We got to see so many heroes and villains fight. And for generations, we have been able to look at them and go, man, I'm inspired by this. So instead of rage baiting, instead of saying, yeah, DC gets what they deserve. They're just making the Ripperverse money. And they are making the Ripperverse money the more they do this. Let's take a moment and let's just talk about in the comments below some of your favorite DC moments and let's remember the good times and fill ourselves up with all that positive energy because that positive energy that's what got this little channel to 500 subscribers and I want to see if that positive energy can take this small channel to amazing new heights but more importantly, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you so much for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you like what I'm doing here, click subscribe. It would be amazing. Hit the like button. Put notifications on. If you really like what I'm doing, share the video and get more people from outside sources to come in. Because YouTube doesn't know how to handle real human interaction when they click the share button. But I do. And the way that I handle it is by saying thank you. And with that being said, I will see you all next time right here on A Drink With Crazy. Cheers, everyone. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.